What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another another Shim Sham show with the Abzan Oketra. This is a deck that Josh VS suggested, and uh, it's got uh, a bunch of, bunch of interesting two drops: Paradise Druid, Eternal Taskmaster, Growth Guardian, Finale of Eternity. That's a that's a card that has you know that's a good that's a good good. Four Leyline Prowler and two Knight of Autumn, uh, three Choopy Boys. Two Golgari Fine Broker, one of my favorite cards in the previous standard format. Uh, doesn't see enough love currently, but still pretty good. Very good. Still very good. I still really like this card. Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord, uh, God Eternal Oketra is uh, one of the one of the names of the deck, Abzan Oketra. And then you got three Fine Finality and two Casualties of War along with 25 lands. Sideboard, pop that bad boy out. We got three Duress, three to Spark, three Mortify, two Knight of Autumn, two Eldest Reborn, and two Carnage Tyrants. I, I, it seems good. My man choops. Well, dog demon. <laughs> it's very similar. Basically the same thing. I feel like in your in your deck screen there should be a play button. Like you can click on this deck and they're like play, and then I can play it. They can just scoot this over and put a play button here so that I don't have to like go back home, click the play button, click the traditional constructed. Where's the is this ranked? Traditional ranked. There we go. Why would I not play that? I'm just giving I'm giving feedback here. Giving wizards feedback. Uh eh, it's a slow one, but I'll keep it. I'm good. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Oh, look at that. Look what we just drew. We are good at this game. You ever been so good at this game? I don't think so. Oh, well, we're playing this stupid deck. Cool. Everybody loves this deck. Well, the good thing is, is Chupacabra kills their... Oh, that's... This one counter spell like targets you or a creature. Yeah, dang it. It's so good though. It's so good. Can I get my blubbery blubbles? I'll take action. Let's get in there. I'll race you. Should be an instant. Bill, you like that that blubbery animation? Hmm. Okay. So what you're saying is I get to gain four here? That seems good. Time for a drink. I found it objectively and truly disgusting. <laughs> oh man. Rightfully so, Bill, rightfully so. Oh, you're just going to the face after I gained five life. A bold strategy, Cotton. Well, Finale is very, very good, but I think we have to run out Choops to counter the Storm Gamer. And then they're just going to get rid of it. You got it. Are you going to block? No blocks, huh? Well, I'll go to 22. Seems good. You have to know when to hold them. I didn't know the uptake was plus two. Yeah, oh yeah. Time to go make some Sorens. Yeah, Soren gets real high. If you know what I mean. Oh, a little fine, Brokey. 
What if I play this guy? What happens then? I like that you didn't use the Moral Falling. That's nice. Can I kill it now? I'm gonna dive down on it. Okay, he's div he's divined down. <laughs> what a mess I've made. I want the two life here, and I also just want a uh, a chupacabra in the graveyard so I can get it back with Sorn. So. Also, next turn, if we hit a land, we can finale for four. Seems good. You got here one, two cards in the graveyard, so you can actually pump one of these dudes. Oh no. Is that what you're gonna do? That seems super aggressive. Oh wow, and you're tapped out. I'm this time. So I can just go finale. Oh wow, that's so interesting. I didn't know you could do that. That's great. Killed all your creatures. Why wouldn't the Abzan deck have a way to do that? See you later, nerds. Kind of like Mortify here. Fine Burker seems pretty rough. We're not going to be, like, getting our stuff back. We can take out one Gato Catcher as well. D-Spark seems like it has no targets whatsoever. Bring in that Mortify. Duress seems good. Taskmaster also seems pretty meh. Like, we're not going to be putting anything in their graveyard. Eldest Reborn seems kind of slow. Fine seems great. Casualty seems good. Prowler seems... We can probably cut one Prowler for one night just to kill their their thing. Their curious obsession, which they always have. Except for that last game where they did not have it. But other than that, they always have. I don't love this hand, but we're on the draw, so I'll deal with it. Come on, Shockland. That's not what I asked for. Come on, Overgrown Tomb. Nope, not not good. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Oh, Josh, you're going to see Hamilton tonight? That's gassed. Congrats. Oh, it's only 3 p.m. where you are, so I'm like, man, are you? Can you still be watching? You gonna counter my Paradise Druid? That would be aggressive. Is there something that isn't aggressive? What does that mean? In life? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do like being able to play Find Finality next turn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, actually, this is four. This will be six. That's eleven. Yikes. I don't know how we beat that. It seems bad. I 
mean, the problem is if they have a land and they pump this guy twice, we're dead. But... If that's not the play, we might be able to growth chamber, or I might be able to find finality here. Oh, Surge Mare does survive finality. That's rough. Yep, that'll do. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's true. We did not draw as many lands. Thank you. Hmm. Badger with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we deserve. Or we need? Maybe we don't deserve? I don't know. It's hard to say. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Let's start with Isolated Chapel because the other two come into play untapped with this forest. This morning I woke up too early and went back to sleep for about an hour before getting up and getting ready to work. In that hour of sleep I had a dream that I went to a rock concert with my cousin and you were the lead singer. I've never been to a rock concert. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could entertain you guys. Oh, Badger with another gifted sub, my dude. What's going on, my dude? What's going on? Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Let's get in there. Sergil McMarrams. A classic. Go a blood lord and sculptors? No. Strive with the monsters of us all. So I can't block their guys, I might as well gain four life, am I right? Smoking fat doinks? <laughs> is that a word for is that a word for a doobie? Hey bro, you got any doinks? Hey bro, let me get them fat doinks. I've never heard that phrase. End this insolence. Hmm. Well, biscuits. I abhor. Boom, 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 boom. Well, you see, if Soren could hit creatures, that would be insane. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Was this an elf crab warrior? Why wouldn't it be?
We're at 29. I feel pretty okay. Look what you did. Oh, God. All right, Storm goes to one, I guess. Oh, no, Storm goes to three. Pathetic. Sure. Yeah, not great, but okay. I mean, we have a bunch of dudes on the board. Well, that is another card I'm not, I'm not interested in, unfortunately. One more land would be great. A six land would be real okay here, other than these these cards we've doubled up on. I mean, the fact that we can't block any of these guys means we just we can just go we can just go all out get slamming get busy slamming like they take eight here if they don't have an answer merfolk trickster okay you're gonna hit this guy can i just adapt it in response all right a bold strategy cotton I mean, I would have actually liked to play uh, Finale on these two guys when they're... They could still have Dive down now, which is really obnoxious. Can we just gained 12 here? All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> Time for a drink. I feel like we're ahead here at 36. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Unless they have, like, a give all your dudes double strike. If you're going to play one format of Magic for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Cube. Cube draft 100,000%. A lot of times Cube is where I'm like, I get the most of my Magic enjoyment from. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to play Standard. I don't want to play Modern now. Oh, can I Cube draft? Yes, let's Cube draft. All I want to do is Cube draft 99% of the time. The other 1% of the time, I'm like, I'll play whatever. I mean, they have they have five lands. I don't. Do they play Rivers or Beacon in the sideboard? That seems ambitious. I'm just gonna drop another Soren. I wish you all short lives. Oh no, not that. Anything but that. Oh no, anything but that. I mean, you have to block at least two of these guys. At least three of these guys, actually. So, sure. Here I are one. That storm would have finished you off. Biscuits. What up, Cyborg Huey? What's that question mark for? What if we top take another storm and we can just go bonk you? I'm a big fan of getting the bonk on. Oh, well, would you look at that? Would you look at it? I want you guys to look at it. So, what can they do here? Why can't this get back, Planeswalkers? Let's see what you got. It's going to be a trickster here. They're going to tap down this guy. And then they can still pump and... Yeah, because both they have to pump twice here, which is actually fine because it, it will trade. 
and then they're tapped out. It's really one of the things I have to convert it to an American accent so it doesn't sound weird if you end up saying what I wrote. Some words rhyme in an American accent. Is that true? I can't actually tell if that's true. That sounds accurate. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Does this guy have X-proof? Does this guy have X-proof? Oh, because the dive down, sure. Rise up lights. Man, they just have it all. This is impressive. I'm impressed with how much how much all they have. <laughs> Rise up lights. I don't get it. Oh, is it razor blades? Oh. Rise up lights. Oh, that's oh oh, that's funny. Okay, so now they can only attack with this guy. Well, they have to draw like wizard's retort because the dive down doesn't actually prevent this really. Seems pretty good. Okay, so you have no board, I have three cards, and a six six. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, do we just trade here? Or do we just try to find finality? No, we're just going to trade here. Our hand is filled with so much gas. Did you top deck a wizard's your Essence capture? Sure, you got it. All right, GG's my friend. Merfolk trickster, oh my God, dude. Sure. How about now? Are you dead now? Let's just let's just end it. There you go. That guy's dead. What are you gonna do now? Pump this guy? Sure. Pump him away. There you go. Let's just let's go to let's just end it. Let's just end the, the misery. The deck is obviously unbeatable. Okay, let's fix this. I don't think the refined finalities is right. Feels like too much, especially when we have two Finale of Eternities in the deck and two Casualties of War. This deck is going, going hard here. One thing I don't like find is that it kills all your creatures. It kills these guys, but I guess you get them back. Are we totally opposed to... I don't know how to spell it because it's like super Russian. Storev? Are we totally opposed to one of this guy? Because that guy seems sweet. Well, the fine half is good too, but you also have two two Golgari fine brokers. This guy gets back planeswalkers too, which is nice. So you can get back this Soren. Snorev super rush. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just know exactly. I'm like, I know who said that. <sighs> I 
Uh, we don't need more fours, but we are trying to figure out the best fours. But I mean, being able to get back at like a Ravish Chupacabra or a Soren or like, are there any cool three drops we can get? Like uh, Vivian Reed? Vivian Reed seems good here. Not Vivian Reed, but the other Vivian. Yeah, Plaguecrafter bringing back Soren's pretty good. I want to try this little Viv, though. I want to try a little Viv. Well, I mean, I took out one find, and I added one creature. And then I took out... What was the other thing? Nothing yet. So, I mean, I replaced one find with one Vivian. Like, that's the only replacement we've made so far. I do like Finale of Eternity. Like, for four mana, it can usually wipe the board. I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining. That's uh that's what it would sound like if Josh VS was a an, uh, an 80s hip hop rapper. Hip hop rapper, hip hopper, hip hopper, hip hop, hip hop anonymous. Uh I kinda wanna cut one eternal taskmaster. I just don't feel like you're actually gonna be able to like this is a this is a card that's awesome in theory, but like the the times you're actually gonna get through and have three mana. Uh, to get something back seem really low. In fact, I'd almost rather have another Paradise Druid in the deck. Because here's the thing, like, if you're able to swing with your 2-3 and connect, not like, I'm not saying you have to connect, obviously it's just when it attacks, but if, you, if you're able to connect and it survives, you're probably already winning. But, like, if you're just slamming your 2-3 into their 4-4 to get a guy back, then it's almost better to have, like, another Fine Broker in the deck. But I do think we want another Paradise Druid. I think I like ramping, being able to like just have. Because it, it, if also if you don't hit a, a, a third a third land, then you get to still play a three drop, which is nice. So I mean, wow, Mark Hoppus, that's good. I like it. Yeah, seems good. Uh oh. Oh, Terramander. You little Mitch. Shut up and take my money. Thanks for all the awesome content and for putting up with all the shenanigans. Chat shenanigans are my favorite. Badger, you are awesome, dude. Don't even worry about it. Why do you... You don't need to be thanking me. Your your presence is thanks enough, my friend. You are awesome, dude. Badger, thank you so much, man. Oh, wow. That, that was the June Red Goal. Look what we did, guys. Look what we did. Look at this. Fashion will lead to the party. Am I right? They're at 16 already? Good lord. They're at 14. They're at 12 already? Good lord. They're basically dead. What's that restaurant with all the stuff on the walls? You mean shenanigans? Joke's on you. I got things to do. We could just play this tap, play a Prowler, and then next turn if we hit a land, we can Finale of Eternity all their, all their things. Let's do that. P -p -p Prowler! Guys, I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm presently surprised at how delicious these bugles are. I thought they'd be terrible. But they're not, though. 
Oh my god, give me one land. Oh, this is gonna be brutal! Where did all your creatures go, my friend? They're all in the trash can, it's the end. my guy, not my little angel. Oh, not my little gentleman. Oh, it's a little cackling drake. Oh, they died. That's really sad. They died. That's really sad. I thought they were going to win. But then they, they they realized that their deck sucked and it was full of stupid drakes, so they lost. It's a real sad story. I've heard it a lot. Let's bring in these Mortifizzles. Take out one Oketra. Done. Yeah, for all the aggressive decks where they have like three two power two toughness creatures, you're just like, all right, kill three for for like damnation cost. Okay. Also, one nice thing about Finale is that uh, it doesn't kill your guys like something like uh, Finality would. Finality and Finale. Oh, man. See, like, if we had a Finale right here, we could actually kill both of these guys. Yeah, that would be pretty good. So we attack, they shock. Hmm. Eh, that's fine. Whatever. I guess they could block, too. I'm not down with the blocks. Let's no attacks here. Um, Shock it in response. Shock it in response. Shock, shock it in response. Shock it in response. We got two cards in there, so these cost six. Okay. Finale one time. Come on. So one, two, three, four, five. Can play this guy. Play Overgrown Tomb untapped. And then we're just going to pass. Because next turn we can finality and kill everything. And then pump this guy before then. Ideally this works.
All right, no gamble, no future, guys. What are your thoughts on sweet bugles? I have no idea. I don't think I've even had a sweet bugle before. I don't want to set the bugles on fire. Jesus, you got it. Four, five, six. And then there's four in here, so they could pump one of them. Yep, that's going to be game. What's a sweet bugle? Flaming bugle would be a great username. Uh, D Spark actually not terrible against their guys, but it doesn't get rid of the baby ones. I do kind of like duress here. Uh, this is actually Casualties of War seems pretty bad actually. This is a nightmare beast. Good lord. If you could ban one card from modern right now, what would it be? Um That's a good question. I actually don't think there's anything super oppressive in modern right now. I mean my closest the closest thing I would say is Faithless Looting. I think the card's very strong. Oh, that's nice. Oh, growthy boy. The pipes, the pipes are cold. Oh, that's rude. Our opponent is just the rudest person I've ever seen. I want to walk into a gate with this, and I'd rather just get a guy with some some uh, some mana on the board, so we can definitely play Soren. <laughs> Still could have the gate, huh? They have the gate. Are they going to double ship and fire? Wow. That is aggressive. Oh, the old two for one. Seems good. Come on, land one time. Don't do me dirty. You didn't do me dirty. And end in Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Oh, another one, huh? Well, you know what they say. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Got to dive down and opt. Are there ways to cheat in MTG? Or, yeah, I mean, stream sniping. <laughs> If you're not streaming, though, I don't think so. I mean, I can't imagine. I've never heard of an instance of that ever. Another one, huh? Well. I guess we should have played Soren first, but I don't know if they'd block if we did that. Got the negate now. We also should have activated this first. Why didn't we activate that first? That was real bad. 
<laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? Because if we play Torn first, we could see whether it's going to resolve, and then we could actually determine whether it's going to. Yeah, it's fine. Ha. I've seen worse. I still think we're ahead here, but I, I think that last turn was very bad. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. This dude is pretty big. Seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I'd rather get troops to kill the uh, to kill the Enigma, the Enigma gentleman. Three, four, six, seven. We also have seven mana. So we can play Choops and Leyline Prowler. I mean, alternatively, we could have also gotten Soren attacked, gained the life, and then returned to Chupacabra. But Soren is more likely to counter when they have Spell Pierce and uh, Negates in their deck. So. One of which they just discarded. Wait, they're really going deep here. If they have a shock, they kill us, right? We go to 14 now, they have to have shock one other card. That's fine. Not great, but fine. Alright, there's actually a couple things we could draw here. Overgrown Tomb, actually not one of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. Yeah, I think we're dead. That's really sad. Turns out the uh, Soren was the correct play. We play Soren here, we attack for three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just return the Chupacabra. Yeah, that's rough. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can also deal seven. Memorial of Folly gets back something, but nothing relevant enough. And these guys have reach, right? <laughs> yeah, soaring here would have been amazing. Um... I'd like to see how many cards they have in there. 14? That's annoying that it's just like <laughs> pops up. I'm like, I just want to know the number. Why is it so hard to figure out the number? There we go, 14. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. No, well, he tried. I just, I'm not a fan of Eternal Taskmaster. You said it seems good against red, but like, against red, they're either going to kill it, or like, you're never going to have the opportunity to like, it comes into play tapped. It's so like, you're never going to be able to play it, and like, then they just get a free attack. And then you're never going to want to attack, and then also pay three mana, because you're probably not going to play the creature you get back that same turn. It, it just feels like it gives them so many turns. 
is Paradise Druid better than Incubation Druid in this deck? I don't think a Johnny does anything, unfortunately. Green Finality is interesting. I don't know if it's good enough, though. I mean, being able to tear up a Knight of Autumn or a Golgari Finebroker or a Ravenous Chupacabra doesn't seem terrible. That's interesting that you didn't like it. I would try one. I mean, it seems like it's... It's okay to, like, tutor up a Fine Broker or a Ravenous Chupacabra. Or a Knight of Autumn, right? Like, these are all very useful creatures that you might... Is there a creature in Standard right now that destroys a creature with flying? Because I feel like that's a very traditional kind of card, but it's not present right now. Like, there's, like, lots of spiders that do that. I don't think so. Oh, Crawl Harpooner. Yeah, the guy dies, though, unfortunately. But it's still good. I want to take out the Eternal Taskmasters. I think Crawl Harpooner actually is pretty good here. Chupacabra can kill a creature with flying. Wow, that's actually... Is that, that's actually hilarious because, I mean, it's just probably better than any spider that would be, be around. Oh, Ravager Worm is nice too. What up, Case? Ravager Worm is a green creature that can kill a creature with flying. That is a uh, that is a solid point, my friend. Let's keep. What do you think of Stitcher Supplier in this deck? Uh, n nothing. It doesn't really do anything, right? Like, we don't have any graveyard synergies. Oh, I should have played the Galda Shrine. I, f I thought this was an overgrown... Th oh, God. That was terrible. Fool me once. Can you counter this? You would never. Oh my god, did you guys both do the same meme with a slight variation on it at the exact same time? <laughs> oh, because that's hilarious. Oh, lord. Oh, look, it's a, uh, it's a wilderness reclamation. How nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Can we do one of these jobbies? Are you going to penalize me for it? Probably. Are you going to blink it into the royal it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm just done here. I, I have no desire to play against this piece of shit deck. It's no offense. Uh, it's just... I think if you play if you play Wilderness Reclamation and and, and Nexus of Fate, there's a, there's a special level of hell for you. Uh, take out one Prowler. Take out the Crawl Harpooners. Bring in Knight of Autumn. Bring in Mortifies. Probably do want the other casualties. Then you can take out the fine finality, bring in the other casualty and the other mortify, maybe. Is D Spark gonna, gonna do it? I guess D Spark does the same thing as Mortify against this deck, right? Duress is also good. Alright, I'll take one of these guys out. Take out the Choops. I don't think they actually have creatures in this deck. Uh we're in the ranked queue. Oh, finale's finale also comes out. Alright, so we got a bunch of things we can take out and put in I think that's good let's do it like that we're soft to reclamation I feel like we have 
30,000 ways to deal with enchantments. Yeah, okay. I'll keep it because I don't have to have the desire to go to to go to five here. I mean, Mortify is going to do the same thing as as D Spark in this deck, right? Like, oh, Primal Amulet. I don't think I have a way to deal with that as easily. Like, I can just Mortify this. I'm gonna get rid of the Primal Amulet. I mean, I got casualties of wars for search search for Ascanta. Not like I, not like I don't also need the other thing, but you know, you get it. You get it. It's like a blink. Oh, Catra! Oh, Catra! Okay, try, yeah. Me, me, all the way. You guys know this jam? I think it's Rosanna. I think that's what this, uh, they're gonna have to bounce it now because they play a creature. Sure. Is that a Toto song? That's gas. Who knew? Who knew that they did other things? Ugh. Can I get a six land here? I did. <laughs> touche. Hmm, touche. I just assumed you wouldn't know about it because uh, they did the song called Africa, not called Australia, so I just figured you wouldn't, you wouldn't be familiar with their work. This is the battle of the zombie gods. Next turn I get to make four creatures if this survives. Wow, you're getting aggressive here. Okay, take it easy. He's not American. Of course he knows about other places in the world. Oh, for... Oof. Oh, they have another blink, so this guy's never gonna... Yeah, do it during my turn. That's good. I like that you did that. That's a totally logical thing to do with no... No real reason. So, that's good. I guess I'll play it again. <laughs> Why not? Third time's a charm. Shoot myself in the brain. <laughs> Command brain. Oh, good. This is nice. We're having a good time. See you later. Hope you had fun. We do not have five mana Vivian, which feels like a mistake. I think three O catcher also might be too many. Viv. Let's put two ant vivs. Get rid of this one. Three Sorens might be too many. We can cut one of the Sorens. Cut one crawl harpooner. 
I'm also wondering if you want, instead of Paradise Druid, if you want Land War Elf. Like, I know Paradise Druid makes two mana. I don't know if I like three, four Leyland Prowlers might be too many. She kills everything, which is what she's great. She kills enchantments, and she would have killed Kefnet there, too. Hmm. Also, Storv gets back the, the Planeswalkers, that thing's, that, that thing's put in the graveyard. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, guys. I'm going to try this one finale, because, like, just being able to search up Crawl Harpooner or Chupacabra seems great, or Knight of Autumn. Like, these these are three very toolboxy creatures. Same thing with Fine Broker. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like the casualties of war are kind of too cute. I, I I am gonna be the last person that would ever dissuade someone from trying to 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 brew with casualties of war, but I feel like it's too cute. I feel like there are more impactful six drops. You know what I mean? I almost feel like this is a three autumn. Three Night of Autumn format. <laughs> oh, that's not going to do it. Let's look up Autumn because that's much more likely to be. Oh, there's four total here. Oh, I got one on the side, Bizzle, huh? I'm going to take the. I'm going to take the casualties. I hate doing it. Let's look for cards uh, that are in. Uh, not Mythic. Going to go for Black. Those are the correct ones. Let's look for New War of the Spark cards in these colors. All the way, ba da da, Rosanna. Oh yeah. Hmm. What about the new Obnixil? The new, uh, not Obnixil. The new uh, Nickel Bolas. We could probably put that in here, right? Why don't? Oh my God, Liliana seems so much better than. Than casualties of war. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I right? I'm right. Come on, so good. I totally forgot. Like this is this is the problem. Like uh, this is why I like this uh, this communal deck building because like there's so many cards you just forget exist. So I'm like, let's just look through these slowly and we'll figure out what we like. And uh, I don't mind this like one of Vivian here. Nissa's five mana. I think Vivian Reed is just better than that Nissa. Especially if you don't have that many forests. The old nerd horde general. That's a song by Toto, in case you guys didn't know. What about one plane wide celebration? That's greedy, right? What about Oath of Kaya's? I mean, if Casualties of War goes up in price because of Commander, it's going to be way down the road. That's a card you want to hoard, like, 200 copies of. And then one day, when, when War of the Spark is out of print for, like, five years, it'll spike. But while it's in print, it's just there's so many boxes going to be opened that it's not even going to be a hard card to obtain at all. Oath of Kaya seems great here. It doesn't trigger... I think we do want to... We do want to trigger... What about this Death Sprout? We were talking about Death Sprout, but... Chupacabra is just better, right? Because it's it's less mana restrictive. It's a guy you can get back with Soren and all those things. Me, me, all the way. I do like one Tulsmere, though. I, I think Tulsmere is actually very sweet. And it's also a fine card to search for. He's a friend of wolves, too. And that's that's real important in today's, today's societies. How many morals to, do we have? Two? Yeah, okay. Two is good. I don't know if we also want this one swamp though. Three Gauntlet Shrine, four Overgrown, four. I think we want. I want to take out the swamp. I want to maximize the Gauntlet Shrines. Thank you. Badger with the gifted sub. Fistical. I'm just happy they printed two board wipes. Perfect for my Bruni EDH. <laughs> uh, but they are not perfect for Bruna. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yes, let's save those changes. This is 60, right? Now I want to look at it like this. All right. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, 14 cards on the sideboard. What else are we putting in here? 
Probably another Crawl Harpooner. That guy just seems good against so many matchups right now. Well, we put in, we cut, we cut two double blacks for two double, two double blacks, right? So we cut, we cut, uh, I think, let's try it like this. Let's see what happens. We added two more Planeswalkers. We added four Planeswalkers. This, I just like all these Abzan cards, man. Your deck is just elves, right? Got him. Welcome to the Abzan Bird. Don't you ever say that. This Godless Shrine makes it all good. I like to have two double, double two drops though. <laughs> it's, yeah, I don't know if I go so far as to say rich, but I, uh, you're right. It does need to be changed now. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. What do you take here? Boom! 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 Let's go to the widgets. Go to the goal. Uh, and that goal. July Rent Arena. Uh -huh, zero, zero. When is it going to end? What's the last day of June? 30? 25? 70? 63? 30. Alright, so we'll say. Zero, zero. Um, this guy. What did they take? They took that? Pfft. Dummy. Joke's on you. That card sucks. <laughs> it doesn't. It's a good card. That was mean. I don't know why I said that. Get a little of this guy. I know my responsibility. He knows his responsibility. Are you going to tuck this guy? Here. Meet me all the way. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Eleven oh eight. Fantastic. Fantastic. Travis, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. You are eleven dollars and eight cents worth of awesome. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Can I just attack this? Is that an option? Okay, let's do it. I'll play Kaya's Wrath for your one creature. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> I can do that. My first thought when you did that was like, oh, Badger's gonna love this. That's a good time. All right, so we just got to kill that dude. That's pretty cool. And now what they can do do I even want to play anything? Like, I don't want to play a guy and have them Kaya's Wrath, right? That seems bad. Yeah, I'll just end turn here. Well, how nice. <sighs> you have to put people with OCD off kill. That's. That is messed up. But I get it. I get it. I'm known for my hurry. Hurry. Oh, 
Oh look, it's the little guy we added. No more games. No more games. No one knows the wilds like I do. Ooh, look at them all. I, I know the wilds. Shut like up you and take my money. Thirty-eight ninety-two. Wow, you guys are ridiculous. I love you guys. You guys are ridiculous. Badger, <laughs> I feel it feels almost like taking advantage of your of your delicate even number condition. And we'll take this and then we'll, oh we can't play because we play land this turn. I get it. I get it. Badger, you're awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. I don't know if it's for me or for you though, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Just to be clear. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. So they go tap five, untap two, Nexus of Fate. Is there a creature that deals with the Planeswalker? Like a vampire hex mage kind of thing? I feel like there should be a creature that when it comes into play kills a Planeswalker. It just feels too... It feels too... There feels like there's too many Planeswalkers that can't be dealt with by creatures. Maybe that's me. I can just kill that Search Press one. Is this really happening? They have six cards in hand? What's going on right now? Plague Crafter. That's actually uh, that's a good point. That is a thing. I'm not a big Plague Crafter fan because he just usually just sacrifices itself. But, you know. Sure. Not bad. Oh, that's your friend of wolves. It's your boy. Here are my remaining bits. Urk, thank you so much for the, re for the... I was gonna say the resub. Man. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. You guys are all awesome. It's just a room full of awesomeness right now. Well... One, two, three, four, six. No, I wish I took the... Uh, not really. I guess I don't really wish I took the Golgari. Uh... That. It's really hard to look and see how many cards are in your graveyard because it just makes the card big. So I don't know... I don't know if that's new or not, but... I can just click on the graveyard. Uh, you have five cards. Yeah, we'll play this guy. We'll do it now because if they like do it at the end of turn, and then we can just not get it. And I just want to. We ain't gonna try to. We're not trying to like. We're not trying to trick him into thinking we have some instants here. Vraska's fisherman kind of kills. <laughs> Trust the Vraska's fishermen. You guys ever have uh, Vraska's fishermen uh, fish sticks when you were when you were young? Buddy, put that dude back in your deck somewhere. Somewhere special. I really don't want to commit more to the board because it's really like a... It's kind of a tense situation here. We got a good 10 power. I'm impulsive with money to waste. I'm sure Frank would definitely benefit. Wow. I'm broken until tomorrow. I was pity. Otherwise, I would have this war sometime. You just got to pick your battles. Oh, man. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. And that's why we didn't put any more guys on the board. But what can you do? I feel someone messed up and forgot to add blue to this deck. I... Yeah, you're right. I'll sit. I'll absorb this. I'll absorb Vivian Reed into myself. Oh, you didn't do that. I see. Let's see if you're worthy. Maybe we should have killed this thing. You can't stop nature. You can. It's hard, but you can do it. Do I get big choops? Choops seems good. Hey, sir. Thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I read it and I didn't thank you, but I wanted to thank you. Thank you for the bits, buddy. You guys are awesome.
This isn't a fight you can win. This isn't a fight you could win. My name is, my name is Tezzeret. Okay, so we just did kill this guy and kill this guy. I feel like this is not, these are not optimal choices that, were, that are being made here. Playboosh, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. We got one, two, three, four mana. Well, that's unfortunate. We will meet again. One, two, it's hard to like, I have to literally like, oh, go one, two, three, four. I have to like count really deliberately in order to like figure out what we do and don't have mana for. I guess we do have a Vivian coming up. That's kind of cool. Six point six seven percent. It's so close to six point six six. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Dude, it's like seven seventeen, and the sun is still out. This is great. Yeah, that's fine. Take whatever you want. I don't even care. Man, I don't even want to activate this. I guess we can attack with both, right? Seems good. Get him, boy. Get him. Good boy. He was a good boy. He was the best boy. Yep, this is again why we didn't play more creatures. Alright. Can we get big can can Big Viv resolve? Shut up and take my money. I hope so. Bam, OCM. Did anyone catch? I don't. Oh, uh, it's like most of. Yep, of course you have that. Congratulations. I want to congratulate you on having it all at all times. One, two, three. Well, they don't know how to man and activate this. Please fix the. You fix the deck list. Got her. She got wrecked. Unies Joker. You definitely have a problem, but I appreciate your problem. And I hope we can get to the root of it and fix it. You are awesome, dude. That's, they didn't... Chemistry's Insight. I guess they didn't have, they didn't have a mana for that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I think they only had three. <laughs> it's just, it's just, oh, now they're going to do it. Now they're going to be like, I'll play Kefnit again because this card is the only card in my deck that I... Uh, that I get. How do you deal with these stupid gods, man? See the fine broker that was on top there? If we draw a fine broker, that's an interesting little thing. That's not okay. All right, don't draw anything cool. That really hinders us. Okay, they didn't. You did guess? Did you see the fine broker that was chilling right here? I want to know because I want to make sure that like. If we draw a fine broker, it's going to be real interesting. Trust me, we need to move quickly. 
We do need to move quickly. Did you just draw a card? That's all you did? How do they win this game? I don't understand what their win condition is. <laughs> Can we talk about how that dumb man at Arc I, I agree with you. I'm like, this is a this is a nightmare beast. I feel like it should be a little quieter. I don't feel like that I don't feel like the roar is really like uh Okay, it was clearly not a Golgari Fine Broker. It was a, a a temple garden. The Kefnet can deal damage? Question mark? Yeah, I don't know. You got me. You got me. Enters tap. $600 for glasses? Woof. That's something. That's something not okay. Time for plan B. You hear that, little dude? Oh, look, a Dovin's a cutie. A Dovin's veto. Mao. You know what? I'm not done yet. He's not done yet. Hmm. Shut up and take my money. We don't have a memorial, right? No, okay, let's just twelve fifty-seven. Oh boy, Badger, is your deck? Um. Oh, it is standard. That's crazy. All right, let's add it to the thing. I guess I could just copy it. Um, okay, that was only game one, so that's good. Let's get rid of... <sighs> Finale seems bad. Let's bring in all the duresses. We'll bring in, actually, Eldest Reborn seems great, too. So does D Spark. All right, we're just bringing in all the cards that are good. Uh, Soren seems pretty rough. Doesn't seem to do much here. Take out Chupacabra. Oh, Carnage Tyrant is also good. I don't know if I love Fine Finality here. I feel like Fine Broker is also just just better. And we also have Finale of Devastation as well. Mortify, Finale. I feel like Night of Autumn is better than Leyline Prowler just because it kills the other thing. What do you call it? Oh wow, look at look at Sarah the Expert over here. We could make it more consistent. We really need to refine this deck list. Yeah, I'll keep this. Search? What does search mean? Oh, three three pairs of glasses for six fifty is insane. That's significantly different, my friend. As an American citizen, I paid about five hundred dollars for one pair of Ray Ban, Ray -Ban Club Masters prescription. So you know, that's cool. Congratulations, you killed my mana source.
We got four mana here. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. I can wear big kid pants too. I can move and move, move. Yeah, two pairs of glasses for 199 is still pretty good. That's pretty nuts. Man, it's almost like your healthcare system is just light years ahead of ours. The surprise of no one. Let's be clear that I have yet to draw a single sideboarded card in this game. <laughs> oh, good times. No duresses, no disparks. No eldest reborns. You got it. Could go wrong with this. Yeah, nothing actually, surprisingly. All right. There are 25 lands in the deck still, right? We didn't we didn't like ruin any lands. I feel like missing three land drops is kind of uh. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Oh, glasses aren't covered by Medicare, and they're actually just, uh, they're just, they're just uh, cheap naturally. Well, at least someone can draw their Eldest Reborns, so that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna go to the next game here. Are we just dis- are we doing ourselves a disservice by not just having the, the Jade Light Ranger- I don't want to do this, but I feel like it, like, I think it's just, they're just better than Prowler. And... I feel like we, we should at least try this. Because these guys are going to draw us cards just like... Put one more of these guys in the sideboard. Take out... I'll take out one Mortify, because Mortify is doing a very similar thing, and we also have a lot of removal already, so I think that's okay. Why do we have one Finale? Because it's great at searching up Night of Autumn, Crawl Harpooner, Ravenous Chupacabra, Golgari Finebrokers, and Tulsmere. Like, why wouldn't we? She doesn't work... Well, Liliana doesn't work with Oketra? I mean, like, not every single card has to work with Oketra, right? Like, I mean... It, this is a powerful planeswalker. This is a powerful like. This is very interesting. These are very interesting theories that you're putting forth here. Uh, what else am I gonna take? I'm gonna put Paradise Druid out for the. I mean, these guys are just gonna help us hit us, hit us, hit us, help us hit land drops better, and they're also. I think they're just like Jailer Ranger is just better than the than the Prowler guy. I just kind of want to be able to hit our land drops here. Do we have twenty five lands still. Yeah, twenty five lands. All right. Let's see what happens. I guess. Wow. Sorry, your sass is on another level today. Why are we cutting the one up? Why are we cutting all the one-ups? That doesn't even make any sense. Cut most of the walkers? What are you, why? There's no strategy behind that. It's just like, you're just literally looking at the deck and being like, this looks better on paper to me. There's no real, like... It doesn't feel very... It 
And then cut some lands, too. Wow. All right, well, this hand looks fantastic already, so... We just need a land that comes into play untapped on turn two. Just cut everything. Oh, we figured. We found it. We did it, boys. <laughs> this isn't Commander. Uh, pay too late. Play this sassy gentleman. Oh, are you guys ready? We're doing it. Friends of me, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so I think it's, I think it's much better if you have the luxury of going five mana Oketra, untap, two mana Wild Growth Wall or two mana Growth Guardian, pay another three, and then like I, I just don't feel like you have that luxury a lot of times in this format. Like that's a great scenario if you're able to do it. You just get to kill Jade Light Ranger here or uh, Narset rather. Um. Yeah, I can go in the library, sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. I shall miss your company. I think if your goal is to play Oketra and then immediately have a creature to follow up with, I think you're just I think you feel you'd rather just go with uh Llanowar Elves. You know what I mean? Because it's just there's a lot of times where you have six mana and you can play Oketra and then Llanowar Elves and have three bodies on the board. Um, sure, I'll just play a Soren and you can counter it if you'd like. You got it. No, you're not holding Llanowar Elves in hand, but you are in the late game on turn four or five. Like if you draw Llanowar Elves or turn three even on your way to Oketra, you're always going to hold it. There's definitely been times where I've had Oketra in hand and I just want to be able to to hold on to Llanowar Elves. Like, you, you hold it with a with the express purpose of, of planning towards Oketra. Like, the game doesn't force you to play Llanowar Elves when you have it. I just, I'm really not sure if this is a format where you have the luxury of, of a, like, playing a uh, Growth Chamber Guardian on turn two and then adapt, trying to adapt it on turn three and not also playing uh, another card, right? Like, I want to have two guys on the board by turn three because that's, that's just how this format feels like it plays out. Wait, they're tapped out and they played Teferi. Am I missing something here? Okay. They just forgot to untap their lands, I guess. I was like, alright, we're just gonna play Liliana, I guess. Alright, let's try it again. Take out the Crawl Harpooner, take out... Take out Choops. I assume you don't have a Choops thing, so I'll take out one of these guys. You're... something. Take out one of this, both of these. Take out, bring in these guys, bring in these guys. Bring in these fat boys. D-Spark seems good. Probably better than Night of Autumn. Yeah, let's try it like that. All right, let's do it. More like shame poop, am I right? I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think that is correct. I don't think that is correct. Shame poop normally comes after BBQ in my experience. <laughs> they could bring in Thief. That's true. That is a true story. True story. Um, Yeah, I'll keep this hand too. 
I just feel better about having these guys in the deck because I can play one on two, I can play one on three, I can play one on four. I'm not like hoping that I I manage to uh, like I don't want to pay three on turn three to just make a four four and then hope it resolves because if they kill it, well that's just shit. Oh, we wanted this guy first. See, I messed up already. Mm hmm. But these guys just smooth your draws out so much. Do I want to graveyard this? I'll library it. I think it's very good. Obviously, it's very good. Everybody knows that. Oh, they missed the land drop. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, Josh was right. Nailed it. Josh nailed it. One, two. I'm going to graveyard this, actually, because we don't have... Can we get a free man? That's nice. A free land, if you will. And then we get to Eldest Reborn this dude next turn. I was just going for maximum okay. But I think this is still maximum catch okay synergy, right? Like I didn't remove any creatures from the deck. You're just being you're just you're the only the only extra synergy that the growth chamber guardian has is being able to tap three and find another growth chamber guardian. Uh, oh you just got a Jade Light Ranger. Which I think is I mean it's very it's almost similar as to being like Jade Light Ranger, let me find another creature on the top, you know. Oh, that's interesting. This thing goes. sometimes rest. <gasps> Not dead yet. They actually, this is great because they have to block here. So, I'll trade with whatever. We can trade with whatever you like. Squadron vampire. That sounds good. See, we're clearly unbeatable now. I think I think Growth Chamber Guardian might actually be a trap in this standard format. That's my opinion right now. It's such a great card and has a lot of value, but I feel like you don't have the luxury of being able to adapt it. And I don't think even a 4-4 gets through a lot of the threats. Like, it doesn't get through a catcher. It doesn't get through 5-5s. Five I don't know. It's an elf. That's true. That is true. It is an elf. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. For those who don't know, Kerwit, Kerwit purchased this this monocle and sent it to us, so. Catacombs. Sarah with the reset. I fixed this deck. You're welcome. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? Is it card Morphog Branchwalker? Eh, you can go in the graveyard. I want to hit lands here. Even though you have two. Four elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is basically the same deck. Wow. Huh. And you really did take out the black. That's amazing. That's true. She won't stop you from donating 200. It's a true story. Guys, I'm at the I'm at the crossroads again and I don't know what to eat for dinner.
soul, Diviner. I took all the crap out and streamlined it, trust me. <laughs> you know, I think I do trust you. I believe in you. Uh, let's play this and no plays this turn enters tap do 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 do. Still think you make a decent penguin. Oswald Cobblepot. That's the penguin. You guys know the penguin? Do you know the Muffin Man? Lives on uh, lives on Drury Lane. So I can literally go like, oh, I can't only do it for. Oh, dang it! There's no canceling that. That's unfortunate. I'll choose you. Look at that, we drew another card? These guys are so good, man. That's crazy, dude. That's so crazy. You so crazy. I mean, I'm just gonna block. Having Sorens alive is more important than having one Merfolk branch walker. Oh, they realized that. They were like, I understand. Oh, so what are we doing now? You know. You know what up. Shoot. Is it enters the battlefield or cast? It's cast trigger, so we couldn't have couldn't have Sorin'd. There are some great Colombian restaurants over in Armenia, or my favorite was Cali Viejo over in Valrico. Yeah, that's a bit of a drive. That is a there's a ton of there's a ton of Colombian restaurants in Tampa though. Alright, Narset. You know what would have survived that cry and adapted. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. You only have two black though. Oh. Guys, I don't even want to cast a creature right now. Cause, cause Liliana, cause Big Lils. So we could play this guy and nothing else, or we can play Big Lils. You think we want a Jade Light first? I think you just want us to Jade Light first because. Because then it triggers this and you just want to see it happen. It's gotta be Liliana though, there's no question. Good help is easy to find in war. We're just gonna go at your face. Like. If we attack here, you can actually draw a card, and then, uh, you know. But now you get one activation off this, I believe. And that's fine. You're going to draw the card either way. You're going to draw one card either way. I'd rather yield six damage to your face. How did we pay six damage? Oh, because this guy kills a permanent? I mean, they don't have a third black yet. So. That ain't a third black, buddy. Get wrecked, Joshy. Do you like it when I call you Joshy? Kitty cat man. <laughs> I know more than you could learn in a thousand. god, interloper. They killed Soren over Liliana? Well, I'm fascinated. Color me fascinated. <laughs> well, all right. You have piqued my curiosity, good sir. Uh, you can go in the trash can. All right, you can go on top now. One thing we can do is uh, probably kill them here. Just 
You got it. I'll sacrifice these two new, new boys. Yeah, we don't get to draw anything, but that's fine, because we're just going to murder you. All attacks? At your face. Two attackers. Got him. I did not feel like Soren was larger threat there, but I guess that's... I guess that's up for interpretation. Finale can come out. I feel like we're boarding out Finale a lot, but it's... It's whatever. Find Finality. Uh, D-Spark seems epic here. Duress seems very, very good. What are we taking out for... You take out the, is Crawl Harpooner still here? You guys, you can go. Probably Finale as well. Maybe I don't like the finale. It just doesn't seem like it's coming up a lot. I think we want more Temple Garden in the deck because this keeps happening, unfortunately. Like, we keep having more of the comes into play tap lands, but not enough of the... Right, but in that same situation, if it was the Black Finale, it'd be the same exact thing, right? I don't think that really... I don't think that's really a fair argument because the same thing would have happened if it was the Black Finale. Whereas if they had like if they had a search for us Kanta out, if they had a wilderness reclamation out, we could have easily gotten a night of the night of autumn and killed those things. Right, like we've only played four matches total, right? Like five this is our fifth round, I think. Oh, fan fan phantasmic. Well, might as well. I mean, it's like we just happened to play against two creature decks where we were getting finaled, But, I mean, being able to finale into, like, a Ravenous Chupacabra or something is still pretty fun. I mean, I don't know. It's... Ocean Man. Finale in my hand. Oh, boy. Well, that guy's getting disparked. actually seems libraryable. I don't know, like 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 I said, we're just testing it. Like I don't think it's I'm not like a hundred percent I don't know if it's the end all be all of cards for this deck, but uh yeah like, library seems good for that one. Yeah, like, Wild Growth Walker is just an insane magic card. Like, it's a 4-6 right now. Come on. Finale of Devastation is for decks with a combo finisher. I don't think that's true at all. What decks What decks have that, Sarah? Can you, you can't get Planeswalkers, right? It's just creatures. That'd be insane if you can get Planeswalkers. Either way, I don't think it's I don't I don't know if it's correct or not. I just wanted to try it out because I think it's fine. Yes, the word decklist in chat. That is correct. Decklist. Is that a request for a decklist? Is that uh is that I don't understand. Is that is, I mean at least add a question mark if you can't if you can't be Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I was like 
<laughs> what? What's going on here? That's... Oh, uh, that is not correct, though. But you can see it right now. Oh, no, don't, don't put that guy in here. But see, in that case, I don't like Crawl Harpooner either in the main deck. I just think Chupacabra is better, and it's doing a very similar thing. So let me get two more slots, and I don't know what we'd put in here. I I, I think the Lilian is great. I also think Oketra is great. How many creatures do we have? We got like twenty three creatures. That's a lot. Like that's a lot for for triggering uh, Oketra. I don't know. What we put. I like. I also like the Star. I think he's just a fine beater as a one of. Like I think it's just a fine card to have. I like Ogari Fine Broker a lot. I could see putting in like two Paradise Druid. I also did want to fix something over here. Like I think we should always have. Uh, I think we want another Temple Garden. Oh, I think we want to cut like probably just cut a forest actually. Like we cut a forest for a Temple Garden, we cut a swamp for a Goblin Shrine, which I think are both correct because you want. You want to maximize the number of ways to get your your other things untapped, like Isolated Chapel, Woodland Cemetery, whatever. Um, which I think is fine. I'm still not 100% on the finale in the main deck. I think it's good. We also have a lot of 4-drops that I like, because I, I like having the two Paradise Druids just to get to 4. Obnixilus Cruelty is pretty good. I do like Fine Broker a lot, though. It doesn't have to connect, which is nice. And it's it's not legendary, so I do like the 2-1 split here. But other than that, the deck I think I think this is a good configuration for the deck, and I, I'm I think I think it's pretty decent. Like we only lost two to control matchups, and I think it's because like I don't think we had the best luck in our draws there either. But um Yeah, I I I also like Tolsmere. I think I think Tolsmere is actually very, very good. And I think this card's going to show up more and more because I think it's a really reliable... Just a, It's just six power for five mana that gains you three life and also can kill a creature. I think it's just pretty sweet. It's just a sweet card. Like going God Eternal Catcher into Tulsmere is pretty nice because then you get four bodies on the board and three extra life and you get to kill something. Oh, I think we're always going to disagree on some things, sure. But I, 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 like the, I like the back and forth though, so it's good. Awesome. Josh, thank you so much, though. I really appreciate the uh, the support and letting me try it out, though. And if you guys uh, want to have me take a look at your own decks, definitely check out my Twitch or Patreon pages. The links are in the description below. Also, check out manatraders.com. You'll find the promo code and the link in the description below. You get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And you can also check out meundies.com slash Uh You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, coolstuffinc.com. All of these are the sites that you can go and patron and uh, do well and uh, support me. So do those things. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll check you guys out later. Thanks for watching.